warm-up problem. Everybody tries it. We'll bring people up to the board. Secondly, we're going to review how to find the axis of symmetry and the vertex, which is what we've been talking about for about the last three weeks. Then you're going to do some group work. I haven't decided, and I'll decide based on what you guys show me, who goes in what group and how many people are in a group. And then you're going to show me if you actually got something out of today. Five minutes at the end, do a quick little one problem exit ticket. It looks like this. It's just a quarter sheet of paper. Put your name on it, answer the question. Okay? Are there questions about the agenda? All right, so here's your first task. Get a piece of paper. Do you have your own paper or do you need paper? I need paper. Okay, I will get some paper. I will start passing some out. I will take attendance while you answer these questions. Question. If you need to use your notes, use your notes. If you need to use your buddy, use your buddy. I pass, I get Be prepared to get called on to come up to the board. So get, do whatever it, you need to do to do that. Go. Here, you took our value for our axis of symmetry, correct? And you plugged it in to every x, yeah. right? And then evaluate it. That's perfectly fine. And remember, this is actually an equation, so it's y equals, and, and it's negative 2. But I think you wrote it and then you erased it, it got a little confusing. That, and then the only other thing here is this. Right? You actually put 4 in for x, so that x doesn't even need to be there. So, you did it correctly, a couple little things that I would clear up. Um, you did it correctly and then you evaluated and you got y is equal to 2. And so we have our coordinate, and I'm really happy that you wrote it as a coordinate, of 4, 2. This is our vertex right there. So good work. This is what we did. This is putting them in order. What's the first step? Yeah, put them in order. What was the first step when we did this? Jenny? Find the coefficients. Find the coefficients, right? we got to find the coefficients. What was the second step? Don't Somebody else. Wait, what? The, the third one. This one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's the third step? So write down. Write down, write down the order of pair. Can you write down the order of pair before no, you find no. both parts? No, 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 no. It fit. It fit twice. Hold on. Who can help me? Raise your hand. Kennedy. This one? This one? This one? No. I would say you don't have an x value yet, so you can't do this. Green one. I told you which one. It's the this one. After you substitute in your values, you have to evaluate it to find x. Yes. And then the blue one. And then the blue one. Then, the blue one. then you substitute that and you finally write the vertex. If we're struggling with this, this would be a good thing. I'll put this back up there when we're actually doing our work today. You should know this. The steps to find the vertex. In the steps to find the vertex, you find the axis of symmetry. So you find both of them by doing the same thing. So we're going to divide you up into groups of, let's see, how many we got? Three. One group of two, and the rest will be groups of three. Listen closely. If there's questions on groups, I'll, I'll redo them again. All right, so your job is to move your desks. You're only going to have three, so you're going to put them together. Right? I even modeled that, so you put them together. Because I actually want you to face each other so you can deal with them. All right? And then I need you to choose a captain. Me. That's fine. Are those directions clear? Get with your groups. you got 30 seconds. Move your groups. Go. With the axis of symmetry, with the vertex, with the graph. All of those things are in here. All right, so you're going to take your envelope and you're going to pull out all the parts. I made that graphic today. I was pretty proud of it. Same. I'm just saying. Thank you. Thank you. So you got all your parts right here. You match them and you fill them into your table. So write your equation, find the axis of symmetry, write it down, vertex and the graph. Captains, come up, grab a table for everybody and one envelope. Go. 51. All right, you only have, you got 15 minutes to get this going. So you got to work pretty quickly. Don't be afraid to use your notes. Don't be afraid to talk to each other. With five minutes left, I got a quarter exit, one question exit ticket. So you've got 15 minutes to figure this stuff out. Get your questions answered. And then we'll collect all these parts. Go to it. OK, so you'll write down an equation. You'll find, you're going to find an equation that matches with the vertex, that matches with an axis of symmetry, that matches with a graph. And you're going to write them in your table. Oh, I just grabbed an example. Yeah, I just grabbed an example. Right? So we use this and we have our answer.
You have to use Okay, so you take your you take one of your equations and you find the axis of symmetry and the vertex then you find them in here and match them and fill them out in your table. Well, the origin. What do you mean? Well, you put all these parts back when you're done. Well, pick an equation. That's a graph. Pick an equation. Okay. Linda's got an equation. Can you find the axis of symmetry in the vertex for that? Okay, well, let's do that. And then we'll pull them out of there, and then we'll make the graph for it. And then we'll write down on our table, we'll write the equation that we're looking for, so we'll write the, each of these parts. And then for the graph, you, there's little numbers here, G4, whichever one matches, put that in there. Okay. Okay, what's your, what does Brian say? What is he helping you out with? No, I'm the captain, so I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if, if you're the captain, then ask your teammates how you do it. They don't know how to do it. He do does. What's Brian that? does. Right, Brian gonna, knows how to do it. Solve one of these equations. All right, this group's got one. And once you have it, set it aside. <laughs> Captains, I need your, your envelope that's completely filled up, put back up here. I need these tables to return with you tomorrow, and I need the desks back, and you guys need to be ready to show me that you learned something. I need you to show me that you got something out of this, a little exit ticket. Can you do what we were supposed to do today? I know a lot of you worked really good today. That was excellent. Maybe you learned something. That'd be fun. Let's uh, see if we learned something. One question each. Let's try to do this individually and show me that you got something out of this today. When you're done, you can hand it to me on the way out or you can set it on this table, your choice. Please respect your peers while they show me what they got. You only got three minutes, so you better start working. All right, on your way out, please hand me the exit ticket. I hope that you learned something. Tomorrow we'll pick this up and you're going to get, I believe you're going to get your summatives back tomorrow, the last summative from exponential growth. Wasn't that last week? That was like two weeks ago. They are great. They've been great in that effort. It was like three weeks ago. It was. How did that happen? Thank you.